For centuries, people have dreamed of being able to take wing like a bird. The seemingly unattainable has become a reality and anyone who wishes just for a moment to defy gravity can now savor what it really means to be free. The Aerodium team can actually be called modern-day Icaruses that offer active outdoor tourism enthusiasts the unique opportunity to fly in a vertical wind tunnel. Aerodium's head Ivars Beitans had the first opportunity to experience the wind tunnel while visiting the USA. He decided that in time it should be set up in Latvia and two years later the first such tunnel in Eastern Europe opened in Sigurd. The creator of the wind tunnel is the French-Canadian inventor Jean Saint-Germain who entrusted his idea to Aerodium. He created the concept for the wind tunnel. We contacted him in 2004 and we acquired some of the blueprints and some of the technology. Saint Germain is an elderly man, therefore in 2009 he offered us to take over the business so we bought up all of Irodium Canada shares. Now we are owners of the Canadian Enterprise too. Aerodium not only produces wind tunnels and trains potential flyers, but also entertains audiences with an impressive show, especially at the closing ceremony for the 2006 Winter Olympics in Turin, the company presented a unique wind tunnel device that lifted Latvian flyers 25 meters high in the air. Baitans reveals that much work has been done in developing the technology. We purchased the 1980s version from Saint Germain. We purchased the 1980s version from Saint Germain. Technology was different then, and we adapted it to fit 2004 requirements. We made great strides in terms of technology that allowed to participate in the Olympics and create major shows, bringing us popularity also as tech producers. In terms of development, we surely can contend for first place in the industry in the world. You need about four minutes to understand how to control your body in a wind tunnel. With an instructor, beginners can soar 4 meters, professionals 20 meters. As of May 1st, when World Expo opens, visitors of the Latvian pavilion will be able to fly in the wind tunnel and, as Peytan's accents, there have been no complaints from anyone so far. After the flight, most have smiles on their faces because they have had a real experience, even the light flying in a wind tunnel is often associated with fulfillment of childhood dreams. People are happy, joyful. That's why for World Expo we thought of the slogan that we are showing the world happiness technology that helps people be happier. Aerodium wind tunnels have entertained flying fans in many countries like Italy, England, Russia, Greece, Canada, Finland and elsewhere.